The Space Earth Science class of Cumberland Christian School in Vineland, New Jersey has made models of the planets as part of our unit on astronomy this year, 2014. In this video, you as you watch the planet models, you will hear the students describing their planets and explaining some facts about them. The naturalistic explanation for the formation of the solar system is that a large cloud of dust and gas condensed to form the sun, its planets, their moons, asteroids, and comets about 4.6 billion years ago. However, there are several facts about the planets which are the opposite of what one would expect from such an origin. The students will share these facts with you as you watch their planets rotate in space. The rate of rotation is greatly increased with these models. We will consider the planets in order of distance from the sun, starting with Mercury. This planet is Mercury. It is the closest planet to the sun. Its distance from the sun is 36 million miles, or 0.39 astronomical units. Its orbital period is 88 days. Its orbital inclination from the plane of the ecliptic is 7 degrees. The length of a day is about 4,223 hours, or 176 Earth days. It has no moons. It is similar to our moon. It can reach up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. It also has an iron core, which is the source of its magnetic field. This planet defies naturalistic explanations of its origin because if it was 4.6 billion years old, it should not have a magnetic field, but it does have a magnetic field. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It's 67 million miles away from the sun, or 0.7 astronomical units. The orbital period is 0.6 times of the Earth's. The orbital inclination from the plane of the ecliptic is 3.4 degrees. The length of day is 177 times of the Earth's. It doesn't have any moons. It's covered with thick clouds. It's the hottest planet. Venus rotates backwards. It doesn't have any moons. It's called a twin sister of Earth. It's the brightest planet in Earth's sky, and the atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide. More volcanoes than any other planet in the solar system. It supposedly formed near Earth at the same time, so you'd expect it to be similar to Earth, but it is very different. Venus has no water, no tectonic plates, no magnetic field, and no moon. It rotates backwards from the other planets. Evolutionists have no good explanation for this. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. It's about 93 million miles away from the Sun. It takes 365 days to orbit it and it has a day length of 24 hours. The Earth also has one moon, and it also has a powerful magnetic field and tectonic plate that creates massive things, and it has life on it. <coughs> Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It is 142 million miles away from the Sun, or 1.5 astronomical units. Its orbital period compared to the Earth is 687 degrees. The orbital inclination from the plane of the ecliptic is 1.85 degrees. The length of day compared to Earth is one day and 40 minutes. It has two moons. Mars has several canyon systems and several craters, too. Two, and it also has two volcanoes. Evolutionists see much evidence for water flooding on Mars, where today there is no liquid water. But they reject most flood on Earth, even though 70% of the Earth is covered with water today. <clears throat> Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun. It is 484 million miles, or 5.2 astronomical units, from the Sun. The orbital period is 12 years. The orbital inclination for the plane of the ecliptic is 1.30 degrees. The length of day compared to Earth is 12, 10 hours. The number of moons it has is 67. Jupiter is also called the king of the planets. It's the biggest planet. It has a giant red spot, which is a huge electrical storm. It spins the fastest. It's one of the gas giants, and its core is three times that of the Earth. It has over 60 moons and has rings, but are very, very faint. Jupiter, sh Jupiter should not exist at all, evolution says, because it would take longer to form the supposed age of the solar system. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It's 888 million miles away, or 9.6 astronomical units. Its orbital period is 29 years. Its orbital inclination from the plane of the ecliptic is 2.49 degrees. Its length of day compared to Earth is 10 hours and 40 minutes. It has 62 moons. It has the largest ring system, and its moon Titan has atmosphere and river and lake system. 
Also, the particles in Saturn's rings are not condensing into moons, as you would expect if the nebula hypothesis is correct. Uranus is seven from the sun. In miles, it is 100 billion away from the sun. In astronomical units, it is 19.2 away from the sun. Its orbital period is 84 years. Its orbital inclination from the planet of the ecliptic is 0.77 degrees. The length of day compared to the Earth is 17 hours and 14 minutes. It has 27 minutes. Uranus is the only planet that rotates on its side. Evolutionists also have no good explanation for why this is occurring. Neptune is the eighth planet from the Sun. The distance from the Sun is 2.8 billion miles, which is 30 astronomical units. Its orbital period is 164 years, and its orbital inclination from the plane of the ecliptic is 1.8 degrees. Its length of day is 16.11 hours, and it has 13 moons. Neptune radiates twice the amount of energy it receives from the Sun. It also has the strongest winds of any planet, and it had a storm system called the Dark Spot that moved. It also has faint rings. This planet defies naturalistic explanations for its origin because it looks young, meaning it could not have been created billions of years ago. It also, its surface also changes, meaning it is not dead. And according to evolution, Neptune is too far from the sun to exist. And finally, Neptune's magnetic field is offset and tilted. We hope you have enjoyed watching our planets and have perhaps learned a few things about them. Since there are so many ways that the planets contradict the natural explanation of their origin, we believe that the best explanation is that they were created supernaturally. We believe that God made the planets the way he did, as well as the rest of the universe, so that when we study them, we would realize that there must be a God. And the same infinitely powerful God that made those planets is also infinite in his love for us. He made the infinite sacrifice of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, on the cross to die for the wrong things that we have done. He did this in order to reconcile us to himself. But being infinite, Jesus Christ conquered death and rose again. Now God commands every one of us to turn from our self-centered ways and to seek to know God's ways and to live in accordance with them. If we desire to live a life of submission to God's will, we can call on Jesus Christ and ask for him to give us the power to live such a life and to forgive us of our wrongdoings. Jesus said that he, would, that he came to give us abundant life we encourage you to read the Bible, especially the New Testament, to find out how much God loves you and how he wants you to live. In conclusion, the Bible says, the heavens declare the glory of God. 